Okay, so this is shining shoes one on one. It's this is just a basic video. You don't need to go off of this, but it is just a just something you need to know for being an ROTC. Okay, so you need one rag or two, depending on what you need. This is how I shine my shoes, by the way. <laughs> you need an old toothbrush just so you could clean out the gutters right here. Water. And Kiwi Shoe Shine, which you could find at like Target or Walmart, any of those. Um, so, first, what I usually do is I take the rag, I just fold it right like this. And then I use the water. This is already wet because I was shining my shoes earlier, but basically, what you want to do is that you're going to put your hand in your shoe like this so you can hold it down firm. You're going to take the water. You're just gonna wipe off all excess dirt, extra shine off of it. So, and it also, at the end, when you, uh, after shining, you wanna add the water right here, like this. Just so, um, just so then, uh, it looks shiny because the key to my shining is that, uh, you need to use the, you need to use the water. So, just like that, because I just, I just shined my shoes, so. And then do the same thing to the other shoe. <laughs> Sorry for the music in the background, I just need to focus. You need to go all the way on the sides, even right, right here where the laces are, and uh, all the way up to right here on the shoe. <laughs> and then all the way around. Then after you're done with that, you're gonna take it the you're gonna take this rag. Uh, go to the end, put your fingers like right here, and you're gonna wrap it around, wrap it around your finger like this all tight. And then you're gonna take it around those two fingers, through your other fingers, like the pinky and the ring finger. And I usually just wrap it around my pinky because it's, because it's a very long rag. My first, usually, where your fingers are I use one finger but usually people use two you're gonna you're gonna wet the, the tip of your finger and then after that you're gonna take your, your shine by the way this looks crap I've owned it for like a year you're gonna take it you know you're gonna put a good good portion of shine on it like that <laughs> then you're gonna take it from the front usually when you shine your shoes you want to take it by sections so usually you do the front you do the front first and then the side the back any other side <laughs> and then usually you do the laces last so then you're gonna usually what I do is I do the front four times I do it one on the side one in the middle one on the other side and then I go and then I do a last one all around so then I so I'm gonna start from the middle usually when you start you're gonna see a little speck right there that's why you want to use your lighting so you want to just keep shining it until it blends in with your shoe well, unless it's a new shoe, because then it's gonna, it's gonna just look better. So you wanna keep wiping it until it starts blending in with the black. Like that, it's starting to blend right now. And you just wanna do little circles, little small circles, but you wanna keep it at a fast pace. Because you just wanna do this really fast. It usually doesn't take more than 30 minutes. <laughs> for, for me, since I shine my shoes well, and I do it a lot, it only takes me like five minutes. But since for the video purposes, I'm doing it slower. <laughs> so then right there, it's a little, it's, uh, it's it blended in more. So I'm just going to keep going. Because <laughs> it's not all in yet. Usually a good sign of it being blended in is that it's going to be, it's going to be much softer. And it's going to be easier to wipe your finger across like that. Usually it's going to be more rough when it's still not blended. So I'm just going to go all around your shoe, all around, all around the front. I'll show you how to do the gutters in a bit. <laughs> okay. You usually want to do it until all, the, until all the shines off your finger. And then keep going. And if you feel, if you feel like your finger's dry, just put more, put more water on it. <laughs> then you're going to wipe more shine on it. And you're going to go to the side. You're not going to put as much. 
but you're still gonna put enough so then it you get more shine on it. So just go all all across like right here. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Game undone. Okay. So just keep going until all of it's in there. <laughs> Can't really see it that well because my light's not that good, but I just see if there's any excess shine still that I need to wipe on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that should be all of it on. If you're still having trouble after seeing this video, then just ask me personally and I'll, te I'll teach you and help you do the shoes yourself. Then uh, since that side's done, I'm going to do the other side of it. So right here. Again, there's going to be there's going to be like a giant black spot that's not going to match the shoe. So you're just going to keep wiping it and wiping it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still sick. Since it's still the first time shining your shoe, you're probably gonna have a little bit of a hard time because it's not it's not gonna look as well because it's because after a while you start building up a kind of a um I don't know how to piece it together but it's just gonna after a while it's just gonna be get easier and easier to shine it and then usually after you're done with the front part you want to kind of just do a quick all around like this, you know, little bigger circles, but you're just gonna do it quicker all around your shoe. I'm gonna go all around all all the sides of the shoe, even including the back and the side on the two sides, just so it's easier to shine it later. <laughs> okay, that looks good. And then I'm just gonna put a little right here on the laces, just so it's easier later. Now this, again, this is just a basic video of how I do my shoes every time. Okay, now that I'm done with the front, I'm gonna start on my, I'm gonna start on this side. So right here in the middle, that's where you wanna start. And then you're gonna spread it out throughout the shoe. Or throughout this side. So it's gonna be like right here, around the middle. So you're just gonna go right here. Since it started from the middle, you're gonna kind of spread it out throughout the side. And basically, you're gonna keep shining it until you start seeing the reflection off of it. Kind of like your finger. I'm like super white, so I'm gonna see a, I'm gonna start seeing the colorization of my fingers. Or you could also see your smile in it, or your eyes. Because usually when you first start, it doesn't, it's going to look like a chocolate bar. You're not going to see anything through that thing. You want to kind of be a reflection. That's that's what you, that's why we shine it. It's just want to be a reflection. Again, I don't hardly have to shine my shoes that well because they're already shined. It's just reshining it. So it's all shiny right now. I can see my, I can see my finger through it. Well, at least from my view. And then again, I'm going to put... I'm gonna go right here to where the laces are. Right here. I'm just gonna put the excess shine on it. Get on the other and on the other side too. And I'm gonna take God I love this place. Okay. Um and take more shine. Take more shine. And you're gonna put it on the back, like right here, somewhere. Cause Usually you just do it right, right here in the middle, but it's not gonna spread all the way to the back. So you're just gonna put another, another coat right here. Oh, that's what I was trying to say earlier. After a while, you're just gonna build a coat of shine, so it's easier to do it.
by doing it with one finger it kind of hurts. <laughs> Usually what I do if I'm like this, I'm gonna take the top of my water bottle. I don't usually do this, but then I'm gonna stick my finger in and just squeeze the water onto it. <laughs> now I'm gonna continue right here. Just on the back. Cause I already got the rest of my shoe. You can use any sort of rag as long, including just like this, just like the sleeve of a shirt, like this, as long as it can take water well and uh, it's wa it's easily washable. So uh, that looks pretty fine. You can't really see it because of the lighting, but it looks fine over here. So then I did all, I did all of this. But just to make sure that it looks fine. The front's usually the hardest. That's why you spend the most time on it. Now I'm going to do the last side of this shoe. I'm only going to do one shoe for the purpose of the video and keep it small and easy. <laughs> Put more water. And then I'm going to start in the middle right here. And then continue to spread it throughout the shoe. <laughs> mm, camera. <laughs> 